Hello, I'm Philip Burton of sqlintro.com and today's question comes from Claude. Claude asks, how do I delete alternate rows? In other words, how do I delete every other row? Thank you for the question, Claude. And in this video, I'm going to be using two functions, row and mod. So you can see them in 15 different languages on screen. Row gives me the row number of a particular cell and mod gives me the remainder when you divide two numbers together. You know, for instance, 9 divided by 2 is 4, remainder 1. So mod would give me the 1. So here we have six rows, and I've literally just typed row 1, row 2, and row 3, etc. So I need to identify which is every other row. So I might be wanting to delete 1, 3, and 5, or might be wanting to delete 2, 4, and 6. Don't know. So first thing is to identify what particular row I'm on. So I could go one, two, three, four, etc. But quite time consuming, especially if I've got a million rows. Or but there's easier ways to do it. What I can do is just say equals row of B1. Now quite often when you have a cell referring to itself, that could be a circular reference. In other words, what is 2 plus the contents of this cell? Well, that doesn't make any sense. But row of B1 does make sense because it's asking not what the contents of cell B1 is, but where is B1? So where is B1? Well, B1 is in cell 1. So there we go. So you can see that works quite easily, giving us the row number that it's in. So now we want to delete every other cell. So we want to delete, let's say, when it is even, 2, 4 and 6. Well, each of 2, 4 and 6 has got something in common. They're even. When you divide them by 2, the answer is 0. So I use a mod, short for modulus, which will give me the remainder when I do the first number, the row, divided by 2. So we now have a number of ones and, if you said two, that's wrong. It's ones and zeros. Remember, this is one remainder zero, one remainder one, two remainder zero, and so forth. And you can see that perhaps better if I use the opposite of row, which is quotient. So if I just do this full, that so you can see zero remainder one one remainder zero one remainder one and so forth so now all i have to do is delete where column b is equal to zero and for that i can use a straightforward filter so I'll find all the zeros and highlight them and delete so what i'm left with now is every other row one three and five Alternatively, if you wanted it the other way around, then you would filter on the ones and you delete every other row, including row number one. So all of those would go. So you're left with two, four, and six. So here you can see my final solution, mod of row b1, comma, two. And here it is translated into 15 different languages. And I've also put the quotient one as well, if you wanted to see the full one remainder one. Well, if you like this video, then please like it and please follow me here on this YouTube channel. But I've also got hours of Excel videos. For instance, I've got 11 hours taking from beginner to specialist and another 10 hours from intermediate to expert. So if you want more information about this, and if you want a special offer on price, please go to sqlintro.com. That's sqlintro.com. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next question.